In this video, we're going to look at the important concept of concatenation. And all concatenation means is the action of linking things together. Below, I've shown some things that I would like to link together. A string literal, a string variable, another string literal, so on and so forth. Beneath them, I've given examples of each. Hi, my name is, is a string literal. Name is a string variable. And I am is a string literal. Years is an integer variable. And years old is another string literal. If I wanted to link all of these together, I must put a plus sign between each one of these individual parts. The plus sign is the glue that's going to hold together my different parts or link them together. And without the plus sign, the code would cause an error. Now the programmer is going to see, hi, my name is, in quotes, plus sign, name, plus sign, quote, and I am, end quote, plus, years, plus, years old. But the user or the client is going to see, hi, my name is Sally, and I am 26 years old. And I've just added Sally and 26 as the string and integer variables. In previous examples, we've shown you how to print information to a screen. And this code would print out 123. But there's a problem. The programmer would know that there's 123 cookies because we can see from the variable name that 123 represents num cookies. But the user might not know what we're talking about. We might want to concatenate a label in front of the 123. And the code would look something like this. Now this would cause an error. The first problem with this deals with number of cookies. There is no variable called number of cookies, and it's a string literal, so string literals must be enclosed by double quotes. So we're going to place double quotes around num cookies. There's still one element missing, and that is the element that creates the linking or the concatenation, and that is the plus sign. But we would see the plus sign goes right there, when we add it and now run it, we would get number of cookies 123. Now, you might see one more problem with this in that there isn't a space between the number of cookies and 123. The simple solution to this is just to add a space in the string literal after the double colons. When we do that, we see that we have a space represented on the output below. Now, in this example, I want to start with two values and incorporate them into a sentence that I'm going to form. The goal is going to be William ate 3.14 pies in 1706. So in order to start, we're going to need the word William, and that's our variable name. So we put our variable name inside of the print line statement. The next thing, we want a string literal saying 8 we're going to have to add the plus sign in between if we're going to want to concatenate them. So we add the plus sign and we get William 8 without a space. And if we want those spaces, we're going to have to add them in the string literal. And we do that and it fixes our space issue. Next, we're going to add how many pies he ate, which is 3.14. And to do that, we need our concatenation operator, the plus sign, and the variable numpies. Next, we need another concatenation, and so we use the plus sign. We're going to add the last string literal, which is going to say pies in 1706. So we have reached our goal of saying William ate 3.14 pies in 1706. It might look strange with all the plus signs in between it in the system out print line, but when it gets to the output, it should look like a smooth, uninterrupted sentence. Concatenation is the process of linking things together, as we've shown in the previous examples. The plus symbol is the operator Java uses to concatenate. So whenever you want to join two things together, you must use the plus sign. And it's often used for labeling things, like how many cookies do I have, or num cookies. Linking things together is an essential part of Java, and this process is called concatenation.